I'm here at HPE Discover in Madrid with Paul Miller. And last time we talked, there was this thing called New Stack. And I guess now it's been given a name, OneSphere. What about this is breakthrough and, and how did you arrive at, at OneSphere? Okay, great. Yeah, so OneSphere is a revolutionary tool to manage your multi-cloud. It's different than other tools out there in that it does two things. One, it simplifies your on-premise environments, making it easy to stand up a, pub, a private cloud on-premise. With a basic ESX cluster, you can add multi-tenancy, uh, self-service portal, and a catalog in a few clicks. So now all of a sudden your ESX cluster becomes a true private cloud. And it also does all the lifecycle management of the software stack and the hardware stack. No other private cloud solution is that simple and does that. Then it attaches to whatever public cloud you want. So if you're using AWS, Azure, Google, or our Cloud 28, it'll attach to those and you use those services that you want. This enables developers to get the tools they want. It enables IT to move fast like developers want them to. So this sounds like it's it's almost an evolution, or evolution of one view. Is that fair to say? Yeah, and so the, the question that you, I alluded before is how do we get to one sphere? Well, you know, one view is part of a family. We want to start building a family of brand names around our software. So one view for managing software defined infrastructure and turning infrastructure into software defined. And then one sphere raising that up to talk about, you know, it's a bigger sphere that we're trying to manage, so one sphere for that. So you're perfect on with the messaging. And then I assume that, it, that uh, I mean, aside from managing third-party solutions, that it probably manages things like SimpliVity and Synergy really well? Yeah, the Synergy and SimpliVity are managed, and that's where you get all the full life cycle management, and you can control a lot more from the, the one sphere place. You know, we support other people's gear, but not to the extent of simplicity we're enabled to with our own programmable uh, hardware. And then, to me, this almost sounds like you guys are uh, becoming a software company. I mean, not that, not that HPE has never not been a software company, but lots of times when we've talked, it's mostly been around hardware. Yeah, so what you see is, yeah, we were, we were in the software, but we decided we needed a different angle on software one that was aligned to our software-defined infrastructure strategy, and that one that was open to every cloud, right, and built on open source technologies and putting them all together. So OneSphere is built on uh, OpenStack, it's built on Kubernetes. You can find multiple open source projects within it. We just put a nice wrapper around it, add value with things like Cloud Cruiser, add value with our technology around uh, being able to uh, discover synergies, simplicities, or other hardware and make them simple. So we're doing a lot of value add, but it's a different approach to software development. And this is the new HPE software group, and the first one of its major products out the door is this new group. And so this is available now, or when will it be available? Available in January in the U.S. and the U.K. and Ireland, and spreading to a country near you soon. All right, thanks, Paul. Thank you, Jake.